All right, welcome to lesson 87. I'm going to share some dad jokes with you and hopefully you find them amusing. All right, hopefully you don't get stuck there. So um, we're looking at scale recordings or scale drawing word problems, which is in other words, um, it's just regular um, word problems are literally written out as words, um, but it's a scale drawing um, that you have to figure out. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you something that you probably all have used before and um, hopefully you can make, take something that you, it's fairly common and um, use that here. So let me get it set up. All right, there we go. So what you're looking at is Google Maps here. And obviously I have the country of Jamaica on here. And you might be like, wow, that's a tiny country. Hopefully not you think that because you know that this is just a, it's a representation of the country based off of a smaller scale. So obviously Jamaica does not fit on your computer screen, my phone screen, whatever. Um, it would be impossible. If you would actually make this real life size, um, you, you would not be able to see Jamaica on one little screen. It's not that big. Um, but it wouldn't fit. So how in the world do you know, maybe you already know this, how do you know what, um, what the measurement is here? Well, if you, when you zoom in and out on Google Maps, if you look on the bottom right corner, there is an icon that pops up and it tells you what your drawing is. So if you take, um, for some reason it doesn't want to stay here, um, but if you take uh, the drawing and it pops up on the top side, there is a, um, it says, has the line there, and it says from this point to this point is 10 miles, and on the bottom um, is kilometers. So obviously the farther out you zoom, um, the bigger, the shorter that line comes and the bigger measurement that it comes. So if you um, can get parents permission to do that, it'd be a good thing to try out as far as figuring that out. So, what we're going to do is this lesson shouldn't take very long. I'm going to um, just jump right back to the actual book here and figure this out. So if you want to mess around with Google Maps and see if you can actually figure out how wide Jamaica is, um, go ahead. Uh, it's, I know it's small enough that when we were flying over it, you could see um, from one side to the other. It is fairly small, um, but you can see how wide it actually is. So example one, um, pretty much what you need to do here is you need to take the words and do something that we've done a lot of, which is create ratios. And so for example, example one here, you have uh, Mary is planning. She, first of all, this is something that I love doing. When I design a project, um, I sketch it out first and then take those measurements and make it bigger um, because it's sometimes nicer to see on paper in a small version rather than just build it and, oh, wow, I didn't, don't really like that actually after all. So Mary's planting a garden here, and her scale that she's doing is for every inch on paper actually translates to two feet into her garden. So that's why I have garden written here and scale written up here, because this up top here is going to be her scale, and below is actually going to be her garden. So what she does is she draws, use that scale, and typically on maps, they have, like on Google Maps, they have it written down here somewhere in the bottom corner what the scale is. One inch is equal to two feet is often how it's written. Um, if you look at building plans, um, da somewhere down the corner, they have a, um, a measurement that's indicated by that. And what's interesting is on blueprints of buildings, you can actually get a scale ruler. And it has, it's, like a, it's almost like a triangular ruler. And on each side, there's different measurements. So if your scale, there's common scales. I don't know what they are. Um, I didn't use one very often, um, but you can just flip that ruler around to whichever side matches and then measure 
and it automatically tells you. So for every on this ruler, so if it's one inch equals two feet, every inch you, it would say two feet like that and second inch four feet. Rather than you having to try and figure it out once you measure it, it automatically tells you. So that's technology that we can use on the figure it out. So back to example one, her garden. Um, the first part of the question, if the drawing of the garden is eight inches long, how long will Mary's garden be? So if her garden scale is one inch on the scale equals two feet in the garden, if her scale drawing is eight inches, how long is her garden actually in real life? And the way you can do that is one inch equals two feet, so therefore one times eight equals eight. So two times eight equals 16, and that is feet down here. So to answer that question, it would be 16 feet is her garden length. Um, again, you can just make a ratio, and if you want to actually make it simpler for you, um, this is what I would recommend using. Right, scale up top, make a box here, doesn't have to be that big, and whatever it is, if it's a garden, if it's a building, if it's a mat, um, draw that down here. So I'll put garden down here. So then you would just fill this in. One inch is two feet in the garden. So eight inches, right here you have a ratio of one. One over two is eight over what? What reduces down to one over two? It's 16. You can do that way. Now, um, the second part of the problem is there's, there's a question B there. And so that scale stays. It says, um, if Mary's garden is to be 12 feet wide, how wide should the drawing be? So if she wants her garden to be 12 feet wide, right here, this is the garden information that we have now, 12 feet. So one over two is equal to what over 12? So how many inches? Well, one inch equals two feet, two inches is four feet, three inches is six feet. You can go up through, or you can just figure out one over two is equal to six over 12. So her answer would be six inches for that. So it's, again, it's just a ratio problem that you have to create and make there. So example two there, let me just pause this and get it up on the board. All right, so this one you actually would need to use a ruler. Um, I'm not sure that you guys, if you have one at home, that would work. Um, but you would actually have to use a ruler to measure it because it's actually to scale here. Um, but so his scale, for example, too, he um, drew a scale drawing of his bedroom, the upstairs in their house, I guess. And it's every one inch is equal to 16 feet. So the scale is one inch, the room then is 16 feet. And if you would grab a ruler and measure, it wonders what the length and the width of bedroom two is without the closet. So if you take the width, you have, um, see the, uh, the length, it's one inch long. So if the length is one inch, you don't even have to put this in here. You could, but one inch this is the same thing, so this would be the same thing. So the length is equal to 16 feet. Now the width, you would grab a ruler and slap it on there, is actually less than one. So it's a three-fourth inch. Now you're going to be like, well, what? What do I multiply here? I'm not sure. Well, one times three fourth gets you three fourth, right? Or you could just do, yeah, one times three fourth. So 16 times three fourth is what? Put 16 over one, that equals, reduces down to one over four. Four times three is 12. So that's feet. So his, the width of that bedroom is 12 feet. 16 by 12 foot bedroom, which is an accurate assessment there. So that's pretty much what you're gonna be doing with this lesson. It's just taking um, whatever problem they give you and plugging it into that box there, the ratio problem, and figuring it out, um, whether it's multiplying or dividing. We'll do a couple practice set here. Okay, practice set A. The scale is one inch and the map is eight miles. So for every inch on the scale drawing, actually translate to eight miles in real life. So then you would measure between two towns. 
and what they got is 2.75 inches or two and three fourths. And they're wondering how many miles are actually between those two towns that they measured in between. One times 2.75 equals 2.75. So eight times 2.75. You just write that out or punch it in your calculator. That is equal to 20, 20 miles uh, for that, which I think is actually, no, it's 22. 16 plus six is 22. So it's 22 miles actually in between those two towns. You take eight times two, which is 16, three fourth of eight is six, so 22 plus six, 16 plus 6 equals 22 for that. That's the way you figure that out. Then for B, they give you four options of the scale drawing. What she's drawing a scale drawing, Mariah's, and they want to know which, or she wants to know which would be the best option. So she has a bedroom, no, her apartment. It is 36 feet long and 30. I don't think that's quite the scale there. 36 and 30. Um, so take that to actual size. And she wants to put it on a regular size piece of paper, an eight and a half by 11 inch paper. That's approximately around. Right. So she wants to take this massive apartment and draw it to scale on here. So just put this down here 8.5 inches by 11 inches. Now, they give you a couple options there. It says, which of the following would be a good scale for her to use in order to get this, the actual apartment to down the scale to fit on this paper? Um, so let's just do that. And option A says one inch equals two feet. So this, these measurements are in feet. So if you would do one inch is equal to how many, to two feet. So that means for these, one inch equals how many equals two feet so 30 divided by two that means this would be 15 inches and this would be 18. 15 by 18 that's still too big a shortcut way you can figure this out is um, just take whatever the scale is so 8.5 inches times two because that's how many feet and the biggest you can get is 16 17 by 22 apartments bigger than that. So the next option is one inch equals three feet. So if this is one inch, it would also it'd be three feet up here, but this is 8.5. So you multiply that by three, that would get you 20, 25, 26 feet. Still not going to work because it needs to be up above 30. Right? <clears throat> and 11 times three is 33. Again, it doesn't fit. The scale drawing would be bigger than the paper. It's not going to work here. The last option is one inch equals four feet. So eight times four, 32 plus the half, which is 34. So there you go. You're good by four feet on there. And 11 times four is 44. So you would have a, for an eight and a half by 11 inch paper, with one inch equaling four feet, you could get an apartment that's 34 by 44. So that would fit. Now they have one more option there. It's one inch equals six feet. <clears throat> so that would obviously also fit, but if you multiply this by that, you get 48, 50, 50 inches. No, sorry, you could have a room that's 50 feet by 66 feet which means that your paper is only going to be filled up about that much. And that would kind of defeat the purpose because you want it as big as possible, but you don't want it too big that it's bigger than the paper. So option C or practice set B. I missed the correct answer there. Okay, take it from there. I'm sure you'll do great with that.